start with the default cube, press N to change the dimensions, I will go with the coffee table size. After that, in edit mode, select all and with the right mouse button, hit subdivide. For this tutorial we will do something like this table, and the method is same if you want to make something different. In this image, we can notice that, the corners are at ground level. The middle points are curvy to top. And the center of the table is also sucked toward bottom, so, with that in mind, select the corner point and bring them down, try to move those points in order, so we don't have problem with modifiers later. Once those at ground level, select the middle points and do the opposite, hold shift for multiple selection. We can bevel this point here at bottom, using shift control B as a shortcut for vertex bevel. Select this center point at top and move it down along the Z axis. Now that we have the basic outline of the table, add a subdivision modifier to it. We will try to fix it before applying the modifier. I am just selecting vertices and move them along the Z axis until it seems fit. We can move those top point to increase the thickness in the middle areas. Once you've finished, increase the viewport's subdivision count and apply the modifier. After that, add a new plane, make it vertical with rotation, we will copy it along the main object using array modifier. In the array settings, turn off the default relative offset, and use the constant 1 to the left. Once you set a distance on the Z axis, increase the count number until it cover the main shape. Now, turn off the array modifier. Add another modifier to the plane called Boolean. In the object tab, select the main shape that we made, and make it on intersect. Bring back the array and hide the main shape to see what we have. The plane have no thickness, so, we need a solidify modifier, adjust the thickness as you see fit.
We can now add another plane and scale it to fit the table. This will be the glass panel, give it some thickness with extrude. You can also use the bevel modifier to chamfer those edges. I will make a simple scene to see what we have. Add a new plane as a floor cover. In the world settings, make the color black. Place an area light over the table. Switch now to render view. I will go with cycles render engine and make sure to use GPU if you can. We also need to add a camera and some basic materials to the table to see the textures on it. Here, I need to UV unwrap it for the textures to appear correctly, but before that, apply the modifiers in the same order that we add them, then, inside edit mode, select all and hit U to unwrap the wood texture. For the top panel, we will go with a basic glass node and make the roughness value zero. With this process you can make some interesting architecture stuff from coffee tables to exterior walls, so have fun with that.